Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to do a tip video for you guys. I just woke up, um, I washed my face and tied my hair up and put on some skincare stuff for the daytime, but I thought I would share some tips on how I got rid of acne. I recently had a humongous breakout session on this side of my face, like particularly right here. Probably looks really bad. I decided to do a few of these things that I'm going to mention to you and it helped clear it up, so I'm hoping it will help you out. And I do apologize if the lighting consistency is inconsistent. Um, I'm fil filming <laughs> with natural daylight and the sun is like right there right now, so I have one shot at this, so let's go. So the first tip that I want to share with you is washing your pillowcases. You need to make sure that you wash those periodically Periodically, I tried to wash mine like three days a week. I wash the reason why you need to make sure that you wash them is because you sweat and all of those oils and all of those old face products are going to be on the pillow because you're laying on your pillow like this. I lay on my left side all the time. That is like my favorite side to lay on. So I make sure that I wash it periodically and I thought that was probably one of the reasons why I was breaking out, but it wasn't. Um, so I could mark that off my list, but definitely wash your pillowcases. Tip number two is wipe your cell phone. If you have a smartphone or even a flip phone, who has flip phones anymore? Um, if you have any phone that you're going to press to your head, you want to make sure that you are cleaning it with like alcohol and like a paper towel. I wouldn't suggest pouring alcohol on top of your phone but definitely like put it in a spray bottle spray it on like a paper towel and just wipe your phone all of that makeup and oil and residue from the day is going to be on top of your phone not to mention you touch your phone if you have a touch screen like I do I have an iPhone so definitely wipe it with alcohol uh, that was one of the things that I was neglecting and I know that's the reason why I was breaking out tip number three is washing your face every single Single morning and night. I can't stress this enough. I remember when I was a teenager and I would just wash my face like really quickly and I couldn't understand why I was getting breakouts. So definitely wash your face every morning and night and don't forget to wash the hairline. If you watch my tutorials and you watch a lot of videos, you know that I buff my makeup, foundations, concealers, uh, contour powders, bronzers, all of that stuff around the perimeter of my face. You want to make sure that you are wiping your face and just massaging that cleanser into the hairline. Tip number four is to tie your hair up while you're sleeping or working out. You don't want your hair to be in your face and kind of framing your face. Your hair has natural oils that it has it gets dust in it it gets dirt and debris from being outside um, and you put hair products on your hair and if you don't wash your hair every single day like I don't um, it's gonna get on your face and it's gonna probably give you some breakouts so I would recommend to tie your hair up I always tie my hair up in like a bun here with the exception of these things these things keep like falling out um, but I also I make sure that I tuck them behind my ear or I wear a head wrap to just keep my hair in place tip five is to check your multivitamin or supplements that you are taking that could be some indication that you are either allergic or you know your body is responding to any type of changes in the minerals that are in that multivitamin you want to make sure that you are checking that out um, and I took a multivitamin and I just started breaking out out of nowhere Wear, and I didn't realize it until I was like, you know what? My skin was fine until I started taking this vitamin and I stopped taking the vitamin for two weeks and lo and behold, that's exactly what it is. Tip six is to exfoliate your skin. Your skin has pores and dirt and sebum and all of this stuff, oils and build up into your pores. And if they get clogged, you're going to see some type of breakout, whether it be a blackhead, a whitehead, cystic acne, regular acne, whatever you have, you need to make sure that you exfoliate. I like to use the PMD, which is what I have right here, and it has like an exfoliating um, little device inside, and I like to do that like once a week, once every two weeks. I don't do it too often because my skin 
I don't want to damage it any more than what I'm doing by exfoliating. The PMD is the best way for me to exfoliate. Um, and you can also use like facial washes that have beads in them that exfoliate your skin, but make sure that they're not too harsh because you're not trying to tear your skin or cut your skin. That was a mistake I made when I was in high school. I thought the harshest uh, exfoliant, the better. It's going to just rip the acne out of my skin and that's not what it is. It actually makes it worse. Tip is seven is to wash your makeup brushes often. I can't stress how much this is so important. It was very important to me. I used to never wash my makeup brushes and I wonder why I always broke out. You need to wash your makeup brushes. I make sure that I deep clean every Sunday. Every Sunday I dedicated that day to making sure that my makeup brushes are clean for the whole entire week. I do go in and I spot clean my brushes and I made a whole little solution that I use for myself um, and I'll link it down below. I made a video a long time ago about it but I will link it down below if you're interested uh, they have different brush cleaners that you can go out there and use but I just prefer to use something more natural because I am dipping it into you know makeup and all of that stuff so tip eight is going to be using like an acne treatment or serum or anything like that I have a few here that I use my favorite mask to use is the clear way or clear the way mask by Elizabeth Arden it has a texture to it so it definitely sloths off any dead skin. That's one of my favorites to use for acne. I also love the Persa Gel 10. This is maximum strength and um, I definitely would make sure that you are not allergic to this because it will make your skin red and kind of itchy. It does for me but I'm like you know what I'm willing to go through that to get rid of any acne that I have on my face. So this is a good one. This stuff works. It dries out the acne really fast and um, it actually reduces the size and the pimple that you might have. So here's a more natural acne treatment. This is tea tree oil. I got this from Whole Foods like maybe seven or eight months ago and I still have a little less than half. A little goes a long way. Um, my friend Tracy made this whole entire acne video um, about spot treatment. So I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out. Um, but I pretty much just dilute some with water, take a Q-tip, and just rub it on the spots that I have. And no lie, the next day I wake up, it's reduced in size, if not already gone. And it helps me with my acne scars. It really does um, help lighten them and fade them up. The facial mask that I've been loving is this Aztec Secret. I also got this from Whole Foods. So this is an Indian healing clay and it's deep pore cleansing. You can use it for so much. Um, and I like to use it as a spot treatment. So I'll just mix it with a little bit of water and just put it on the area, go to sleep, and I wake up the next day and rinse it off. Tip nine would probably be the detoxifying mask. I have one from Boots that I got in an influencer box, which I love. And basically it will just detoxify anything underneath your skin and in your pores and it'll just draw it out and you let literally see it on your skin like you'll see the oils and everything when it dries pulling out of your pores and is the most amazing mask ever the scent is not that great but I'm willing to go through that nonsense to get clear skin so I would definitely check that out and the last tip that I have for you is number 10 this is going to be sanitize your makeup we already talked about making sure that you clean your makeup brush and making sure that your face is clean but if you are dipping a makeup brush that you haven't cleaned back into makeup over and over and over again bacteria is going to live on that makeup especially cream products powder products eyeliners lipsticks anything like that so before I use any type of makeup um, especially lipsticks I always make sure that I take a alcohol like just regular rubbing alcohol and I'll just spray the powders it doesn't do anything to to my powders or my creams I can attest to that it works perfectly it will kill any of the germs and bacteria living on top of your makeup so when you do dip that clean brush in there it's all clean and it's perfect and then sanitize it and make it so nice and it doesn't damage the product which is what I really like because the alcohol absorbs really quickly um, not absorbs evaporates evaporates 
Alright, so hopefully you enjoyed this advice video on some acne tips that I have been using and that are tried and true for me. If there's anything that you would like me to touch on a little bit more, leave it in the comment box down below. I will reply to you as soon as I can or I will make a full video on it. I know you guys said that you wanted me to touch more on acne, so hopefully this video kind of clears everything up. I have a full video called the Ultimate Skincare Guide video that I created with every single product that I use from acne to facial pills to scarring, anything like that. I think that's something else I'll touch on because acne and scarring is a big one for me. So I will make sure that I make those videos for you guys. I want to thank you for taking time to watch. I hope these tips were helpful and I hope you give them a try. And if you've already heard about these tips or you have another tip, I would like you to leave it down below so others can check it out, especially any teenagers that are watching this who are looking for some relief on their skin. Please like this video. Make sure that you are subscribed for new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.